Can you hear my car running? Do I look really dark? That's probably a lot better. Um, what is up? It is my 8,463rd day alive. I hope I can count. Happy New Year's Eve. It's uh, still raining outside, so we're in the car again. Let's go ahead and knock out the rest of 2020. October 4th, New Caledonia voted against being freed from French rule, which like, doesn't make any sense to me, but y'all do y'all. Kyrgyzstan starts protesting because of an unfair election, but like, same. Same day, COVID passes 35 million, but somehow there's an estimated 760 million or infected people that just aren't confirmed, which like, how do you even arrive at that number? Either those people are lying or they're a lot smarter than I am. October 15th, Thailand joins the protest party due to a severe state of emergency. Same day, those Kazakhstanian protests make their president, like, resign, which is amazing. Plus one for liberation. But the guy that took over was already prime minister, so now he's doing two jobs, which, like, that's a red flag. October 20th, NASA uses OSIRIS-REx to get a sample of an asteroid, which is like the first time we've ever gotten a sample of a flying asteroid that hasn't touched Earth yet. Okay, so like this next one has a really long title, so I'm apologizing for reading right now. October 22nd, 34 countries signed the Geneva Consensus Declaration on Promoting Women's Health and Strengthening the Family, which like is great because those are things that we like do need to focus on. Maybe like not so much women but strengthening the family october 23rd the falkland falkland islands are uh declared to be uh landmine free for the first time in like 30 something years october 26th nasa confirms that the moon do be having water molecules on it though october 30th a sea earthquake hits turkey and greece it killed 119 people and injured over a thousand also covid passed 45 million cases confirmed on halloween typhoon Goni or Nyoni or Nyoki, something like that, became the strongest landfalling typhoon in history. November 3rd through 7th, Joe Biden is elected as the next president of the United States, which, like, isn't great because it shouldn't take four days for us to count some votes, but also it was stalled for a while. So I kind of understand why it took four days. November 4th, the U.S. formally exits the Paris Agreement on climate change. November 8th, confirmed COVID cases passed 50 million. I'll let you know what this year's final total is at the end of December. November 15th, NASA and SpaceX launched some astronauts to the International Space Station when, and they made it, so. November 16th, two weeks after Hurricane Eta hit uh, Nicaragua, Hurricane Iota hit Nicaragua. And so, I, sorry guys, but what is Nicaragua doing to like attract hurricanes? November 22nd, the US low key admits that we're hiding something when we exit the Open Skies Treaty. November 26th, the Indian farmers protests start. November 27th, Iran's top nuclear scientist was assassinated. So watch out if you're smart in Iran. November 30th, another lunar eclipse occurs. Are there this many eclipses every year? Same day, a biology AI discovered the, uh, unraveled the mystery of protein folding. Still on November 30th, those Indian farmers march on Delhi. So they're like spreading fast. It's a really big movement. December 3rd, the UN Commission on Narcotic Drugs, uh, like lowers weeds level on that list, but also like kept it there a little bit It's a super gray area that we like really need to figure out December 9th Mount Everest's height is officially stated to be 8,848.86 meters tall December 11th the EU agreed to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by 55% over the next decade December 14th the U.S. removes Sudan from its list of state-sponsored uh, organized terrorist organizations or something like that. The same day we placed sanctions on Turkey for buying Russian missiles. Again, same day a solar eclipse happened, but uh, this one was like only over the ocean, so if you were like anywhere else other than a boat, you probably missed it. 
December 16th, the U.S. declared Switzerland and Vietnam as uh, currency manipulators, which, like, don't we all manipulate currency a little bit, you know? December 21st, the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn happened, which was, like, really cool. Uh, kinda. It was probably a lot cooler back when we didn't know that planets existed and we saw these stars slowly getting closer. That sounds really cool. Finally, on December 27th, the number of confirmed COVID cases passes 80 million. We are almost at 1 billion COVID cases. I will not be shocked if by the end of January we have over a billion COVID cases. Also, will be pleasantly surprised if COVID's eradicated in a month. I don't think it's feasible, but nothing else that I thought was important happened this year. If you disagree with me and you think I forgot something that's like really important, like the release of some movie or something, leave it in a comment down below. Uh, if you don't wanna talk to me, just leave a like or a dislike to let me know if I should do more of the same stuff or, or different stuff. Uh, in case you're wondering, tonight I'm drinking gin and juice. Anyways, let's just all get ready to roll with the 2021 punches. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!